Hello and welcome to another new episode where we visit some of the popular vineyards in India. As you already know from the previous episode that we are currently at the wine capital of India that is Nashik and today we will be staying at the Soma wine village. In this episode we will not only be visiting a winery but we will also be spending a night here so come along. Welcome to a brand new vlog of Bonkers Note. Myself Utsav and I have my wife Purvi along with me. And today we are going to stay in the Soma Vineyards. So we are waiting currently in the reception area and while we are waiting to check into our rooms we have been served a glass of Chardonnay as complimentary welcome drinks. Cheers. How do you feel now? I really feel good about this. I have a very good feeling about this vineyard. It's very neat and clean, that's the first impression that I got here and the stuff here is really really welcoming. And as we are waiting, we have been made to feel that we are really welcome out here. I really love this place already. I yeah, really and the, have a good stay, right? Yes, and the weather is also very nice and uh, we are ready to explore the more of this wine yard. We are moving towards the room right now. I already have a very good feeling what I told you and they have given us a free upgrade. I think we will give you a room tour after that wine if she is still in this mood. What do you say? Are you up for the room tour? Come. Welcome to our room in Soma Wine Village where we will be staying for one night. This is our room and its name Nero Diavola. So let's come and let me show you how it is. Once you enter you will see a big bed. Hope it's comfortable. Yeah. Your head just fell off. <laughs> Yeah, it fell off. Now we have a TV and a desk. Right next to the door where we come in, we have the closet. And that's me in the mirror. Here's the closet. It's a big closet. And on the opposite side, we have the washroom. Let me show you the shower area. I love the greenery in the shower area. It gives me a Bali feels. 
and you can also open this one I really love this shower area. It's quite clean and very nice with this touch of greenery. How do you feel? It's unusual for us. It's first for us in India. Yeah. Now come on, let's show you the best part of this room. This is the balcony and this is the best part I think. This gives way to this beautiful view right in front of me. I think I can't get over it. This room is quite spacious, luxurious and very nice. And one more thing that we really liked about this room are the high ceilings. It's time to get freshen up now. We are ready and we are off to a wine tour. The Soma Vineyards was established in 2007 on 25 acres of land. They grow 5 varieties of grapes and today they boast of a 32 room resort which also has 2 swimming pools, 2 multi cuisine restaurant, a gym, a spa and a barrel room. The parent room has been really fascinating and it has been a hit since the time it opened to public. So even if you are not into wine drinking or you are a non-drinker, you can still come and visit this property because this is considered as one of the most luxurious resorts in Nasik. This resort is just located on the banks of the Godavari river and provides an amazing view of the river. We got ready and we were about to go for a wine testing. But the weather was a bit of a spoil sports here. So we thought of opting for lunch and then we'll go for the tasting. We have a lunch with a view and uh, from here the view is just amazing. And of course some red wine. Cheers Ulvi to us. In lunch, we have some Pan Asian food. We are having burnt garlic fried rice and fish in black bean sauce. Wow, that looks lovely with all those capsicum and onion in there. We are having some chicken burnt garlic fried rice and fish in black bean sauce. The taste is surprisingly very good. It's not at all spicy, the fried rice is very well prepared and the black bean sauce has been used in a perfect blend along with that fish. And to top it off, we have the dessert. We have ordered a triple sundae. It's three ice cream scoops. Let me taste it. I was waiting for this. And we have a lot of tutti frutti spread all over this ice cream. Let me enjoy this ice cream with this beautiful view. After lunch now we are here for wine tour and the vineyard tour but unfortunately filming is not allowed inside so we'll go in check out the wines that they have and then we'll tell you what we have here. 
so we went in for that wine tour and that vineyard tour and the person there showed us how white wines, how red wines and rosy wines are made. He explained to us the difference of how wines are leveled in gold, silver and reserve and we were really fascinated with there are a lot of details being thrown to us. Yeah, <laughs> we have visited wineries in the past but we didn't know so much about wine and in detail about it. So we are quite amazed <laughs> to see the details and how they are made and how we can taste the flavors of each wine. Right. And what was more fascinating was he was explaining to us each food item that we can pair with an individual category of wine. That was really an amazing thing that he really yeah, explained Yeah, we us. got to know a lot about yeah. wines and food in this session. Right. And even the alcohol percentage that is there in each of the wine, he explained it, it to us in so much details. Yeah, it and was we, amazing. Yeah, and we tested around five variety of wines and it was really amazing. Yeah, and one more thing, uh, the wine tour that we had uh, was also complimentary with our stay in um, Soma Wine Village. And, and that was a bit of a surprise for us. Yeah. We, we, were, we, <laughs> we were, were not prepared, prepared for it. it. We liked it. And uh, this was actually a very good learning experience. I think you should uh, experience this when you come to Soma. Right. Right. I, yeah, it's a it's a brilliant experience altogether. The stay here, the restaurants out here. There are two restaurants here, and again the wine too. That was really yeah. amazing. In today's wine testing, we had five kinds of wines. We had the Chenin Blanc, Chardonnay Reserve, Rosé, Shiraz Gold, and the Desert Rose. The five wines had very distinct tastes and uh, they were quite different from each other that we can differentiate very easily. While taking a stroll around the winery, we found some of the wines of Swimming Black. It's quite fascinating to see. All the wines that we had today was really, really wonderful. Each of them had their own distinct flavors and the way the tour guide explained it to us, it made the experience even more eventful for us. They are really amazing and we highly recommend our wine tour in some of Indians for all of you watching this video. In the end of the trip, we got ourselves a dessert wine. It costed us 995 rupees. We had tested a lot of white wines, red wines, roses, but we had never tested a dessert wine. And during the wine testing, we really liked it a lot. So we got this for ourselves to take back home. It's evening now and we have freshened up a bit and we are back again at the Surani restaurant for dinner. We have ordered some French fries, a pizza and a Chenin Blanc wine. The Chenin Blanc is a white wine grown locally in the Soma vineyards. It's supposed to go well with creamy food so we ordered a cheesy pizza. We tested this wine in during the wine testing and we really like this. We are not into white wine so much but somehow we managed to like this. Right Urvi? Yeah. It tasted very good. Yeah. And smooth too. Cheers. You can never go wrong with french fry as a finger food with alcohol. What we really like is that these french fries have been baked 
really well and salt level is really low time for some pizza i can see those olives those chicken sitting on there and the cheese they have used ample amount of cheese in there wow so we'll end the day on a chocolate note with a chocolate ice cream Good morning. It has been raining all night long, and today when I woke up, the atmosphere was really beautiful. I had the view of these vineyards from the balcony. The atmosphere is so good, so soothing. The temperature has dropped. So now it's time to wake up early, and we'll go and get some breakfast. This morning we will start our day with some cut fruits. We have watermelon, papaya, and along with it we have some veg sandwich. There are a lot of cheese and cucumber, tomatoes in the sandwich. the taste is really very good whatever food we had here so far i think all of them were pretty good that's a nice sip of coffee i was craving this in this rainy day and this beautiful weather after that we have some poha lots of cilantro brown nuts onions Poha is a very famous food whenever in Maharashtra and we had this in couple of other cities as well and this one is very tasty very mild use of spices so that is very good in breakfast So for breakfast this time we went for the masala omelet it has lots of tomatoes green chilies onions cut and mixed with that egg it's been fried very well really liking this in the breakfast There are two resorts in Soma one is the Soma wine village and another is the Soma vineyard resort We are staying at the Soma Wine Village. There are two types of room here. One is the standard room and another is the deluxe room. We booked the standard room which costed us about 4500 rupees and they upgraded us to a deluxe room that was quite a bit of a surprise. There are two restaurants in Soma. One is the Sol Curry and another is the Surahi. We didn't get the time to try the Sol Curry restaurant. We only tried Surahi. We had lunch, dinner and the breakfast that we had in the morning that was complimentary with our stay. The average cost of having a lunch or dinner at the restaurants is about 2000 rupees for two people. and also they have this amazing view overlooking the vineyards with this this episode comes to an end it's time to say goodbye to the soma vineyards we had a wonderful stay here and it's a highly recommended place from our end so we'll see you again in the next one and go bonkers with you till then stay safe and 
please do like share and subscribe to our channel bonkers note